And in terms of persistence, how important do you think that's been, not just for your portfolio, but also for your businesses over the last 10 years or so? Extremely important, because you realise, you soon realise that it's not simple. Um, property building businesses, if it was simple, everyone would be doing it. You know, so you have to be able to understand that you will come across obstacles, and if each obstacle comes up, you just take a step back and think, what's the best way to achieve the outcome desired? And as long as you take that approach, I don't think you can really go wrong with property. And it's interesting listening to you because you've talked a lot about cash flow and how important that is. You know, in terms of where we're sitting right now as an office, I mean, as a business owner, how have you structured that? Well, I saw this office on the market. It was actually a pub. It used to be an old pub. Um, and it was on the market for about three years. So when I first visited the property, I straight away realised that the upstairs would make a great HMO. So I managed to convince the seller to sell to me, and I straight away converted upstairs to a five bedroom HMO with two one suites. And because I was able to convert it to a HMO, I was able to use the cash flow from upstairs to pay for all of the costs relating to the whole property, which basically meant I was left with a commercial premises downstairs for free. And then I had to decide what to use the commercial premises for. It just so happened that at the time I was in service offices and considering expansion. Um, at the time when I bought the property, I didn't really think that I would make a good office. But having looked around it, I decided, you know what, we'll, we'll give this a try. We converted them to offices as you can see today, and it's worked perfectly for the business.